let me grab a spre Excel spreadsheet. Oh, actually, let me... I'm going to copy over all of this into this folder. Just to recreate the same folder structure, give it a little bit of time. I'm gonna remove that. No OR, function libraries, execution files. Let me keep that just in case. No documentation. And I got a XML document. And now I just need a Excel document. I'm going to update this folder structure a little bit just because as I have been learning through my work, there are always improvements to be made. Let me get Don't need this pile. Data, I'm going to put all my runs in here. Documentation, function libraries. I'm going to clean up, delete this folder. I'm just cleaning up the folder structure a little bit, guys. Scripts. Let's re rename that to tests. And test controls. Cool. Let me open up the spreadsheet. Awesome. Got it open. Now let's design a test case. What's the first test case that I want to do? Well, I want to open application and log in. Guys, it's probably the best not the best, but the most simple and easiest test to create for your framework. And the goal of this test may be small and simple, but when you create it for your team, it has such a high impact because it's easy to do, fast to create, and your team will see an immediate impact of automation. And so it's important that you guys start with the low hanging fruits, that you guys do what's the easiest, the fastest, and then later you can continue to make your framework much more robust and cover a whole bunch of more complicated test cases. But the goal is to have fast results so that your automation can keep running and paying off. So here's test case one, let's change some test steps. Okay, so the first thing in designing a automated test is to play with the application, learn about it, and figure out your test case. 